Let's talk about, uh, because I, I, uh, I'm afraid that I'm uh, running out of time, because this is, of course, my topic and I could speak uh, long. Let's uh, explain to you the uh, uh, elements of hospitality culture, because that uh, is probably the point that you are very interested in, that you are, all of you here, in daily operations, and you want to know now what you can do in order really to transform it after you have created the vision, the mission, and all that. Well, number one is the collective belief. Everybody has to believe in it. Everybody has to collaborate. If not, it's not working. Number two, the contribution, the personal engagement. And uh, on this one, uh, I would like to uh, mention that Engagement, I hear always this, this word, yeah, you have to engage, you know, engage the client. And, but what does it mean in, in a hotel or in a real estate lounge when you get in, how the receptionist that is there, how can she really engage with that client? Well, only personal, only personal. We don't know that, but it, we have also on a personal level really to share something from our part. It's not, we expect often the client to engage with us on a personal level without sharing anything ourselves. I give you an example. In the lobby as a hotel owner or, or as um, you assign one person in charge of, let's say, the guests. This morning you are guest relation. Well, Guest enters in the hotel, has the umbrella here, has the, the, a bag here, uh, completely loaded, uh, doesn't know where to go because he has never been to that place. And then you have this person that greets you and says, ah, buongiorno, good morning, uh, buenos dias, uh, how are you? So, I mean, how you want the guest to engage with you in this particular moment? Please. Uh, because what it's here, thinking in the guest mind is, don't you see that I have here the umbrella, that I have here my bag, and then I don't even know where to go, and you ask me, how are you? Well, the personal engagement means that if this person, for example, anticipates that situation, would take that umbrella in a way out of his hand, indicating where he can leave it. Maybe help him with his luggage first, and then say, yeah, this weather is, is awful. I was also this morning one and a half hour in traffic jam getting to work. Ah, that, that guest would say, he would react and would say, oh my God, yes, I was waiting for the taxi. Now there was such a line. And, and here we engage. And here we engage. The next part, uh, connection, courage to be authentic, yeah. The, actually, engagement and, uh, and being authentic, these are my two favorites. Because um, what does it mean being authentic? Authentic means being real. And um, to connect, no? The connection. But uh, it, it's not happening. It's not happening in hotel. It's not happening in hotels. It's not happening uh, at the airlines. It's not happening. It's not happening. And because I give you another example, and here I have to. Court, uh, short, breakfast room in the morning. Everybody has the situation present. No, you get to the, to the breakfast room, the, the lady or the waiter is there. Room number? If you have a, a, a lucky day, maybe then the person says, room number please. Well, we are treated as numbers. And why is that? Why we are treated as numbers? Why cannot be, th the question is, may I have your last name, please? Can I have your name? The name, we love our name, more or less. But, you know, we are, we are comfortable with our name, but we are not called by the name. And you know why? Because people are afraid, number one, they don't understand the name. Number two, they have to uh, ask it the second time. And number three is that they are not able to communicate then further with that guest. Because if I start then a conversation, oh my God, maybe I, I'm not fluent in his language. So better ask the number. It's better, you know, check in. Passport, please. Passport, okay, better. No, 
on the telephone, when they are desperately looking for the shuttle bus, where is the location for the shuttle bus? Yeah, ask, ask the caller, may I have your last name? And, um, and then you will connect. Because when that person arrives in your hotel, after he has found the shuttle bus, in, he will, and you greet him then at the end of the day, and you say, uh, good evening, Mr. Dominguez. Ah, oh, he will feel so happy. Anyway, next point is the concept of anticipation, which is very much linked. You, as somebody who really wants to introduce the uh, hospitality culture, give, please link it to empowerment. Please, please, I, I ask you. Because if your, if your staff is uh, anticipating something and has not the power to change anything or to take action for that client, hospitality culture is, is lost right there. It doesn't make any sense. Because you, you, you cannot surprise the guest, you cannot treat the guest nice, you cannot break away from your work in order to please the guest. Last night, for example, I had a... Uh, okay, there was a tea selection Beautiful eight types of tea, but six types of tea, they were actually not making me sleep because they were green or black. It, it's like, and so I asked for una camomilla. ¿Puedo haber una camomilla? Por favor. El señor me dice que, que no. Porque es que tenemos allá. What, what we have there. This is, the, this, is the, this is the tea. He was not empowered to change the tea. It's a pity on those simple little things that make, at the end of the day, the difference. 